Hey guys, it's Kamathuno, and today I'm doing a review for World's Finest Issue 3. So let's see what's going on with this issue, and let's talk about the cover. Um, this happens in the issue, but is it interesting, this cover? Um, it's, it didn't really interest me, I guess. I was like, I'm not totally excited for this issue, but I, I've been liking World's Finest, so I was excited to pick up the issue, but not because of the cover. Uh, so the cover is just okay, the art is okay. Um, so I don't love the cover, but, you know, it's just okay. Let's see what's going on with the story, see if I like that. So in this issue, we have this big monster who grows from energy, and anything that hits him, he grows. So, um, he actually came from Earth 2, so Huntress and Power Girl finally realized someone did come, um, through the portal with them to this new universe of Earth that they both are in. So this is the monster that came through with them, who's from Earth 2. Um, now they're just trying to figure out how to defeat him, and that's pretty much what happened in this issue. I mean, we didn't really get much in this issue, um, just that the monster is kind of getting bigger, and, um, that the monster is gonna play a big threat. Uh, so that's what happens in this issue. Um, I, I thought it was an okay issue. Um, not really the best. I, I think this series is good, just because it's very different. Um, it's taking two characters from Earth 2, which is a very interesting universe. You know, characters that are so different, and really could, it really is the ultimate universe of, for DC. So I really like that, and bringing them into a regular universe, you know, our regular universe for DC. So I thought that was, I think that's cool. You know, I do, and I love that, um, plot. Uh, so I like this series, but this issue is kind of, you know, boring, I would say. There's a lot of flashbacks of Power Girl um, and Huntress that aren't really needed. It's them eating pizza and just saying, oh, you know, this is worse than our, in our Earth 2, our universe. And, um, you know, Power Girl um, just showing that she's rich. Like, we know she's rich. Like, if you're going to show us how she became rich in this um, story, that's a different story. But with this, she's not, it's not explaining anything, you know? Um, so those flashbacks weren't really needed. Um, I, I'm interested in the monster. I think he's cool. He, he's from Earth, too. Like, who is he? I think that's awesome. But, again, they didn't really, like, describe this monster. Maybe if you focus on that with the monster, this issue could have been better. Um, and like I said, it was just, like, an okay issue. It wasn't, like, the best, but I guess it is setting up stuff for next issue. Maybe those flashbacks are going to mean something in issues to come. But for this, it just didn't really mean anything. It's them eating pizza, you know? So I didn't really enjoy, love this issue. I didn't really love this issue. Um, did I, did I, did I regret picking it up? I would say maybe just because not a lot happened. But, um, still, like, watch out for World's Finest. It's still a good series. It just had a bad issue, you know? It just had an issue, a filler issue, really. Because this issue, just, like, nothing happened. It wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible. It's just that nothing really happened that is worth picking up. So, um, I say don't pick this up, but I do give it a three, so it's not horrible, and definitely this is not a bad series, it just had one bad issue. So, um, again, don't pick this issue up, um, the art, I didn't really love, the, I don't love the art actually for this, um, series, like, at some points it's okay, I guess when they're in their Huntress and, um, Power Girl costume, it's a little bit better, but, uh, like, when they're just themselves, it's, Kind of bulgy, I would say. They're, they don't look, I don't know, they don't look like themselves. They look different from Huntress and Power Girl. So I'm not loving the art for when they're in their Seeker Identities. I think it's kind of bulgy, and I'm not loving the art for that. But it's okay art, I would say, um, for Huntress and Power Girl, but just for the Seeker Identities, it's not. So it's like, again, it's definitely not one of my favorites, but it's tolerable. Um, so again, I say, give, I give this a three, I say don't pick this up, but it's still a good series, so, you know, watch out for this series, just don't pick up this issue. Uh, maybe pick up issue one, that's definitely a good start, and see if you like this series, if you like it, then pick up issue two, and then skip issue three, and then wait for issue four. Um, especially if you're reading Earth 2, it's a very good, um, you know, it's a very good read if you're reading Earth 2, because you can compare them both, because they're from Earth 2. You know, you can see what universe they're from. So this is Kamakuno. I hope you guys enjoyed. I say don't pick this up, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. In the description below will be links for both my Twitters, The Rand Situations, and Kamakuno. And I'll have news about both my YouTube channels on those Twitters. I'll have news about my videos uh, for both those Twitters. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Kamakuno. Bye.